I'm Tommy Luganbill, the director of Techport and a board member of Southern Rail Loves You. This whole journey has been really interesting for me, uh, especially because when I was hired to uh, run Techport, the original goal was to incubate drone companies and bring in as many people as I possibly could to this building. And when COVID struck, the ability for people to come and congregate, whether it was for business purposes or for social purposes, was extremely difficult. And some sort of magic happened and uh, lightning struck and we got it in a bottle and uh, a small group of eclectic individuals uh, were able to keep getting together physically. And that core group of people were able to do remarkable things. Um, most importantly, create Southern Rail Loves You and create the product that ultimately we called the hot box. And what's interesting for me is that, <clears throat> you know, I still have a role as running Techport and working for the University of Maryland. And so I have the opportunity to do a lot of different conversations and <clears throat> webinars and things like that. And people often ask me, um, isn't that a drone incubator? Uh, don't you guys have drones everywhere down at Techport? And you're at an airport. Um, what, what business do you have working on medical devices? And what business do you have starting nonprofits for COVID? And it's pretty simple. Um, and I just explained this earlier today. Um, the mindset of creativity and innovation is the same across all disciplines. No matter drones or education, or in this situation, uh, responding to a pandemic. And the ability to adapt and react is universal. And that really is the core fundamental lesson that I want people to take away from this, is that you can have a million plans and a core focus, but those can all just go away. And what do you do when that happens? And that's really what measures people's ability to innovate. And yes, we've had a ton of success with uh, Hotbox and Southern Rail Loves You, but we've done more than that. We've shown people that in a region where everybody only talks about uh, a very specific type of technology and industry, um, there are other things that can be done. And that includes things like music and art and manufacturing. And it highlights the ability for folks in our region to do more than just show up to work and do a nine to five job every day. Um, they can contribute, they can volunteer, and maybe they can try new things. So for the future of Southern Rail Loves You, I'd love to see it expand. I'd love to see it go to other parts of the state, uh, other parts of the country, and then ultimately maybe other parts of the world. Um, and that's the beauty of the product and the nonprofit is we can adapt we can change and we can teach. And ultimately, I do believe that we will go across borders. And uh, that's mostly because of the ability to, to collaborate and work together. So hopefully we get there sooner rather than later, but one way or another, I know that we will.